So for today, we're going to be looking at the Witcher set for the Hunters. If you guys don't know, we already reviewed the armor. It's right here and the shader video is right here as well. Uh, we essentially go over how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts, and overall a pretty good video in my opinion. And then the shader video is literally just all the shaders that I currently own on that armor. So if you are interested to see how it shaders, definitely check that video out. And Hunters, yeah, we're going to be looking at all the pieces and i'm going to be honest with you the helmet is rough let's just get into it so for the helmet this is what we're going to be looking at i'm going to be honest with you guys i just did not like the helmet at all um this set is fine i've definitely done better sets with the key uh the calliope lullaby ornament for the orpheus rig i just honestly I had to have the helmet just because that's really what I want to do is I want to have each piece at least incorporated into an armor set. And this one is probably the worst. Granted, I think the helmet's the thing that makes it look bad because I think the arms and the chest piece is definitely super cool. I like the combination of the chain mail on the arms and the chain, man, chain, chain mail on the chest piece. And honestly, I think the boots are pretty much the thing that is out there, but I think the cloak is really cool as well. So let me know what you guys think about this. Again, the helmet is just really trash for all the classes maybe the warlock get a better like they get a they get a way out because the helmet is really cool and i really do like what i did with the helmet for the warlocks which we will get there soon but hunters yeah this helmet is fucking terrible as for the next set we're going to be utilizing the arms and this one is super dope because what i really really like is the fact that the, the white wolf set is really good when you combine it with the unyielding favor set so unfortunately the unyielding favor set is not available in the game anymore this was from oh um a previous season i don't even remember which season it was but i think it was um season of the um the one that came with lightfall i think i could be no i'm not wrong it's probably it, it is that one and that's really unfortunate because I really do think the unyielding favor stuff looks really good with the white wolf stuff. So, and you guys will notice it right here for the shader we're using dawning brilliance because a I like the shader and b it actually combines the chainmail on the chest piece with the chainmail on the arms, which there is a little bit for the well I already explained the arms and the chest piece, the boots iron companion boots because I. You're going to want to be combining the Iron Companion stuff with the White Wolf stuff, or I should say the reverse, the White Wolf stuff. You're going to want to combine with the Unyielding Favor, the Iron Com Companion set, and then the uh, this, ar <laughs> this armor doesn't have a name, but it's the Year 3 Iron Banner armor set. It doesn't, I think it's an Iron Lord or Iron, named Iron Lord. <laughs> Either way, it's the armor that Iron Banner is, is giving out this season, which is really, really cool. And for the helmet, it's actually going to be the Armory Exhibition for the assassin's cowl which is pretty funny because i did not use Ass assassin's cowl that much until ghost of the deep came out and that's the one that i started using it the most and i already solo flawless the new dungeon the uh warlord's ruin if you guys haven't seen it, i'll have it up right now and i utilized all of it with this helmet so the cool thing is the armor exhibition ornament actually does have another ornament legendary ornament that came with this season so if you want you can actually just swap out the white wolf grips with that one um but this is literally a witcher armor set review or video for the hunter so that's why i left it here not saying i have it i kind of want to buy it just because it looks really cool i probably will if i'm being quite honest with you guys because it does look really cool and we still have like 2000 days until the next season not literally but it feels like that and for the shadering for the and the shadering for the boots we're using stalwart tenant because for the dawning brilliance it took an off color that i didn't like so that's why i switched it out and i actually think it came out really well i don't, I don't think people will notice that it's actually a, a different shader as for the next set we're going to be using the boots and this one i'm going to be honest with you guys i'm not the biggest fan of this one that being said i do think it looks really really cool it's just the fact that the white wolf strides take the off color of whatever shader you put on it so that's why i'm like okay with it for the helmet we're going to be using graviton forfeit just because i used it quite a bit during the solo flawless specifically to get to one encounter to the other for the arms iron companion sleeves for the chest piece starfarer's vest and then for the cloak canis luna so let me explain my thought process a when it comes to shading bitter pearl is just a really cool shader but it also combines all of the colors into one cohesive theme because unfortunately starfarer's vest and white wolf strides take colors differently so that's why i'm doing what i'm doing here but for the chess piece the reason i'm using that is because i think it looks really good with the white wolf strides <laughs> again it's just the fact that both of those pieces take 
shaders completely differently. So you will fight this a lot, especially Starfarer's Vest. It is annoying to use, but when you actually combine it with some good pieces, it looks amazing. So this is more of a, a casual um, warrior look, I guess, more. I don't know. It's kind of weird because like this is definitely like an acquired taste look for me, but I definitely think it looks really cool. Also, I should probably mention that for the helmet, we're using Regal Darien because that's the only shader that I found that gives it a pretty good white because with Bitter Pearl, it actually turned it uh, like silver or something, which I didn't want. I want white. So Graviton Forfeit is also really annoying to shader. And last but not least, we're going to be using the Liar's Handshake with the Thalia's Reach ornament. And I think this one's really good. I have made better sets like the one that I have currently that I think I switch out the chest piece and the boots for something else is better. But I wanted to showcase this one because it does look really cool as well. For the helmet, Waylorn's Iron Mask. Obviously, I like to combine this one with the Thalia's Reach ornament. I think they pair really well together. The Jensen Knight Cures because that's really like a medieval warrior look for me. Nemean Strides, I could definitely use better boots for this one, but I wanted to use this one. And then White Wolf Cloak because I love this cloak. This cloak is amazing. So my problem with this cloak is just the fact that the swords are a little too high. It's like the it's like on the back of the neck almost, which to be to be quite honest, I don't like swords going in the back anyways. Like historically, they didn't do that because <laughs> realistically, if you want to take your sword out, you actually have to touch the blade as well to get it out, which is fucking hilarious to me. But for the shader, Iron to Steel, love this shader. It's one of my favorite shaders. This also is the shader that is on the Way Lawrence Iron Mask, just intrinsically. So, and Iron to Steel is being like dropped in Iron Banner matches, at least from what I remember, it was being dropped. I don't know if it's being dropped now. I would love for some confirmation on that. But I know that the Waylorn's Iron Mask, which is the year three armor, is being sold by Saladin in Iron Banner. And that arm that armor is coming up for a review as well with the year two one as well. So don't think I didn't do that. I literally play at Iron Banner almost all week to get all of that armor so that way I can review it, which it is going to come up. Don't worry. And that is pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think. I definitely think the second one and the last one are really good. The first or <clears throat> the second one, I think is definitely dope. I love the color combination. My only thing is I would probably switch out the arms for the ornament that the armory exhibition got. And then for the last one, I actually have a different, like a different look for it, which I don't even remember off the top of my head. If I have a picture, I'll show it up right now. But yeah, I have so much like, honestly, the cloak has the most potential for me and maybe the chest piece, the boots, I like I like the boots. Don't get me wrong, the boots are really, really cool. It's just, again, that it takes the off color, which is really, really rough. But let me know what you guys think. We're gonna be looking at the Titan and Warlocks, and then we're gonna be looking at other armor because again, I have a lot of videos to go through. So stay tuned. Remember, like, comment, subscribe really does help. Hit the bell notification if you wanna keep up to date with my current content because I do think it's worth it. And if you have any suggestions or you want to see a video be made, let me know because I am more than happy to do it for you. Other than that, be safe. I will see you guys later.